Hey guys, welcome. So to get started with the video, we're gonna first prime our face using the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. Only like probably like three bucks. Just gonna put it all over the face. Now we're gonna go in with some primer, the Maybelline New York Master Prime Face Studio Base Primer um, Blur Smooth 100. Now we're gonna let our primer sit while we work on the eyes, and I'm gonna prime using the Femi Maybelline and 15 Fair Concealer. Now we're going to set using the Femi Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder, sorry, in 15 Light. And we're going to use that with a little sponge and then just brush it away after with a brush. You don't Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Gobbler on a fluffy brush. Just going to put that right into my. In the same palette and the same brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade Just Peachy and running that into my crease as well. Now again, now again in the same uh, sweet peach palette, I'm gonna be taking the shade Candied Candied Peach. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. On a little fluffy brush, I almost broke it, so I taped it. And I'm just be running that in the outer V and a little bit into the crease. Now we're going to dip into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance, Modern Renaissance Palette. We're going to be taking the color Buon Fresco and running that into the crease as well. With a different angled fluffy brush, kind of. Dipping into Love Letter on the Modern Renaissance palette and just putting that in the outer V on a fluffy brush. Okay, now going back into the color Buon Fresco in the Modern Renaissance palette on your same brush that you had used, which would be this. Just to like um, even out any of the edges, you get what I mean. Okay, 
uh, liquid glitter metallic eyeshadow. And I'm going to place it on the back of my hand and then um, slightly dipping in and then cutting my crease with that. You know what? I'm going to try it just using this and then um, the applicator and then using the angled brush to like even out because it is kind of come out chunky. I'm going into the Modern Renaissance palette again to so even everything out. I'm going to be picking up a little bit of Love Letter and then mix a little bit with Red Oak. I'm going to be swishing it into the glitter, not the glitter, into the matte because then the glitter would um, transition to the matte and you don't want like the glitter everywhere. And with my finger, I'm going to be picking up Prim Primavera and then just packing that on the glitter. Just so it's like even. I'll be popping on uh, my 3D, my Mink 3D hair. I had got these on wish I believe and they're pretty cute kind of dirty but and they're in the style 3d 11 so I didn't end up using um those lashes they were very big for I I'm I felt like for this eye look so I used these I got from my um closest dollar store you could probably get them there as well or dollar tree or anything like that they're very um thin and not so dramatic and they're in SF1. And now I'm gonna go in with my Super Stay by Maybelline and 128 Warm Beige. I'm just gonna spread that on the back of my hand and get a beauty blender. It's a little dirty. And I use the Garnier Skin Active Balancing Mist Mask Facial Mist. Sorry. <laughs> and I spritz it so it's a little damp. And then I apply it. Probably like two, three pumps sometimes. Sometimes three. Depends. And it is a little white for my skin right now. Don't know why. Probably because of lighting. But we'll make it work. I like to start in the center of my face. Oh, I know we're running. And work going out. And sometimes I don't like putting foundation under my eyes because when I put concealer, to me, I don't like that. Like, to me, it gets cakey, like, for my face. Why, I do not know. But that's just what it is. I'm going to be using the May concealer by Maybelline and 15 Fair, the one I use to prime my eyelids. And I'm just going to be applying that. the same um dirty beauty blender i'm using like this side for that for my con foundation i use the flat side don't want to show you because it's pretty dirty so it's just gonna be um planning that out 
Some people like to let their concealer sit so it can like marinate and sit in your skin for more coverage. But I don't really have like a lot of say like dark circles or anything. So just blend it out real quick. Cream contour, I cream contour first and then I um, conceal because so like that it blends out the like it blends together. I don't know, it's just easier for me. And I like to do my smile lines too because I get like a lot of wrinkles in my smile lines, my smile lines on the sides of my face. And with the rest, that's just on the beauty blender, I go under. Now to set my concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. The same I used to um, set my eyes. I'm going to be using the same beauty blender. And I just dip it. Make sure it's even on your beauty blender. And... I just press, I don't bake. Use it also to set the rest of my face. And for my smile lines, I like to get more and just let it sit there. I like to let it bake. Now I'm going to bronze using the Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula. And I'm just going to be taking a small brush that I have broke. It's very fluffy. taking a Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection or oh, Medium to Deep. So I'm taking Medium Mocha on a fluffy brush. Just chisel more of my cheek. fluffy brush and just blending it out normally I use this for um, my blush but since it's clean I'm just gonna use it to blend it out first and then I'm gonna use it for my blush throughout the video now I'm taking a beauty the same pink beauty blender and dipping it in the loose powder and carving out the bottom of my cheeks. That's it. And what I do is go in with my contour brush and Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going in with that clean brush. Now with a small fluffy brush for the bottom of your eyes with the modern modern renaissance palette i'm going to be taking that buon fresco purple shade the love letter i'm going to be wearing it like to um, blend those two together Don't know what it's called, but it's just a, like a clear gel I use to set my eyebrows in place. I go very lightly because sometimes it does take away the product. Like a, I use the sorry I didn't say, but I use the Anastasia Dip Brow and Soft Brown, and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills 15 Angled. My face is looking a little dry, so I'm going to spray it with my Garnier Skin Active Balancing Facial Mist. Go in with the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow. I'm going to use a little angled brush that I have. It's very cute. I just Now I'm going to top that off with uh, the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone. Now I like to get a small like fluffy-ish angled brush and with the Moonstone I put it on the my brow bone. Now with that fluffy brush that I use to like um, buff in the powders, I'm going to use the Laura Seller New York blush and Big Blush and Bright. Now to finish, finish off the look with the Natural Finish Setting Spray by Wet n Wild. I've been loving this. It's very good. Hey guys, so this is the final look. My eyelashes are a little off because they're pretty freaking long. And this one looks like more than this one. I tried to curl them, but it just wasn't working. And I just used the floss. Um, yeah, and I popped on some earrings, put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And yeah, so I was crouched down because there's like a mirror. Um, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos, hopefully, because every time I try to post a video, everything gets deleted. How? I don't know. So, this is attempt two on um, my video or YouTube. I've comment down below what products you use in your makeup routine, um, what you liked about this makeup routine, what other um, makeup looks i can do follow me on instagram it is princess.tearraa